So, Excellencies, uh, colleagues, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good morning to you all. Uh, I would also add my thanks to all of you for coming to this uh, inauguration uh, ceremony, and I would like to wish you and your families an excellent uh, 2019. So it's uh, for me not only an honor, but also a great pleasure to have been elected uh, to serve the ITU membership uh, as director of the Radio Communication Bureau and to integrate now the new team of elected officials under the leadership of our Secretary General, Mr. Haolin Zhao. I'm looking forward to uh, good collaboration among all of us and that the three sectors would be really bringing a a cohesive and united, uh, let's say, effort uh, towards the benefit of all members. I'm also thrilled uh, to be leading the excellent team of professionals that uh, the Bureau has to serve the membership with quality and efficiency. As you all know, uh, radio communication services today are key uh, for all the development of the uh, telecommunications and ICT ecosystems. Everything we do and everything we use today uh, is using somehow a radio communication enabled uh, device. Everything is mobile, everything is wireless. So the, the radio communication sector of the ITU plays a vital role uh, by managing the radio frequency uh, spectrum and the satellite orbits, but also by adopting universally uh, harmonized uh, standards and regulation. And that is key in order to be able to bring affordable uh, telecommunications to all, which is what all my predecessors talked about. So obviously I'm conscious about the, the great responsibility that the member states have uh, deposited in me, uh, the confidence that they have expressed in, uh, in electing me for such an important role, and uh, I'm thrilled to be able to be delivering uh, on their expectations. Um, the, ITUR in general and the BR in particular have always been known by their efficiency, uh, transparency and fairness and I uh, think we should continue on that uh, road and uh, I would also like to include their uh, inclusiveness. So we will try to we'll strive to bring all the other uh, member states that have not been very active in the radio communication uh, activities to our sector and to be participating and benefiting from what the radio communication uh, sector is doing in ITU, which is key uh, to all members now. Um, as it was mentioned, this year will be marked by the World Radio Communication Conference uh, 2019 that will be held in Egypt uh, at the end of the year. Uh, this is a key conference, a treaty-making conference, where uh, um, which uh, paves the way for the uh, harmonious development of radio communications around the world. So we count on all of you to uh, make this uh, conference a success. We will start uh, the year's activities uh, on this regard uh, with next month's uh, conference preparatory meeting that will be held here in Geneva uh, for 10 days in February, uh, which will prepare a, a big report that will be the basis uh, of discussions uh, for the conference. So this will be somehow part of, uh, or the, uh, part of the end process of the uh, preparation of the conference. Um, the conference should be only the, the starting point for 5G to be rolled out, for uh, non-geostationary satellites to become more and more present in our lives, uh, for hubs to be part of our uh, connectivity solutions for the rural areas, and so on and so forth. So there are so many services that are counting on uh, what we decide on, on the World Radio Conference. So we look forward to working with all uh, of you as member states and with all the ITU staff in order to make it a success. So having said that, I'm, uh, I reiterate my uh, pleasure to be here and to count on all of you. And uh, to, I'm looking forward to working with all of you to bringing ITU to new heights over the, four, the coming four years. Thank you very much.